was recently on a podcast where they said that after I unleashed my inner demon to defeat Bray Wyatt, that I was now the new monster among men in WWE. You can either agree or disagree with that statement, but it got me thinking. If I really want a nickname like that, I have to earn it. Which brings me to Braun Strowman. What better way to become the new monster among men than to defeat the old monster among men and become universal champion? So I might be crazy, but Braun, I'm calling you out. Let's find out face to face if I am what they say I am. The new monster among men, huh, Buzz? Well, sounds like someone's gotten a little full of himself. Now, I'll admit, you've had some success. But that's because you've had it way too easy under Kurt Angle. Well, sure, you've had some tough battles, and I've stripped you of your title when you were injured. But Kurt's pretty much been looking out for you the entire time. Well, that all changes now. Because I'm going to personally make sure that nothing on Raw is ever easy for you again. That means no more of you getting to request matches, let alone title shots, whenever you want. In case you need a reminder, you don't have that kind of authority. I do. So if you want a shot at Braun Strowman and his universal title, It'll be on my terms. First, you'll have to win a handicap match tonight versus The Bar. You've tried to stop me at every turn, from the Indies to NXT to SmackDown, and now here on Raw, and I'm still standing. This time, we'll be no different. I'll overcome whatever you put in front of me to become the Universal Champion. That's great, but you didn't let me finish. It's not gonna be a two-on-one handicap match. It's gonna be a three-on-one, because you're facing the bar and Samoa Joe. And by the way, that match gonna happen right now I told you I'd never forget what you did Hello everybody, my name is Tubusplat and welcome back to WWE 2K19 My Career Mode. And last time we battled Bray Wyatt and Cole Quinn at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. And now we're just doing stuff. Stuff and things. Um So it's been a minute since I recorded. Um, cause, I mean, it's not really an excuse just because I gotta stay inside because coronavirus is happening. I don't recall if I talked about it in any of the previous videos. I don't believe so. Um, it's currently the last Wednesday of March. So we're kind of right in the peak of the virus, I want to say. Um, Yeah, <laughs> just practically it's up to the states to 
issue, no travel, like basically just shutdowns and stuff like that, but anyway, so I, I don't know, I, yeah, I, I didn't record for a week or so, just, I don't know, just because, I don't know, <laughs> I just, because I didn't, um, I was thinking of making a whole video on the whole coronavirus thing, but I, nah, I don't know. Because by the time this comes out, hopefully, it'll be all but over, the coronavirus, because I think, no, because this series starts April 6th, um, and we're nearing the tail end of this Let's Play, so, uh, I don't know when this might come out. I would say early to mid May, if I had to take a guess, or maybe actually mid late, mid to late May, maybe I don't know. But anyway, um, this match was a little annoying because I didn't, I couldn't get the pin on Cesaro, but then I realized, and I remembered it from earlier on, that you really need to have each of them tag in in order to proceed and win the match without. Interference, I think. But they were all in at some point. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's just what I thought now, but obviously not the case because I get the win right about soon. No, they're just being a nuisance. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Just calm down. You'll have a chance to get revenge on Braun Strowman. How? Let me explain. Triple H held up his end of the deal he made with you last week. Since you won the handicap match, you're getting a universal title shot versus Braun Strowman. That's great. There's a catch. Of course there is. There's always a catch with Triple H. What is it? You'll also be facing Samoa Joe, The Miz, Elias, and Bray Wyatt in an Elimination Chamber match. All participants will face off in a six-man tag team match later tonight on Raw. Am I on Braun's team? No. Perfect. So yeah, we're going to the Elimination Chamber. Um, this... I don't know what... I, <laughs> I was going to say this match, but really this match wasn't too bad. Oh no, it was a little bad because the AI just kind of went into business for itself. The opposite team. Um, but they just kept tagging in and out and it's like... 
one, I'm like, okay, I tagged out to Joe, and then Joe, like, barely ever wanted to tag back in. Uh, <laughs> so, this is gonna be a little interesting. So, yeah. Joe barely tags in. Um, I believe the goal is to get Miz to yellow health. And... <laughs> Joe did that all by himself. Again, I'm continuing to reach for the tag. But then... Some malarkey happens. You know, as things do. And, uh... You'll see in, uh... Just a couple seconds. Be careful what you wish for. It's a saying everyone has heard a thousand times, except apparently you, Buzz, because you asked for this. You said you'd overcome whatever I put in front of you to win the universal title. Well, this now stands in your path, along with four other superstars who cannot wait to tear you apart in an Elimination Chamber match. It makes me question your mental health. Because only an insane person would wish unimaginable pain and suffering on themselves. Only an insane person would wish to be in a nursing home 50 years from now, unable to hug their grandchildren because of injuries they sustained decades earlier from these hands. But the SWAT team's not out here tonight to protect Braun Strowman from an insane person. No, Buzz. They're here to protect you. They're also here to protect my investment. Because I want the WWE Universe to pay to see Braun Strowman end your short-lived career at Elimination Chamber. And finally, they're here to protect your wishes, no matter how insane they may be. Buzz, I'm not usually a generous man, but at Elimination Chamber, I'm going to grant you all your wishes. Unfortunately for you, it's not going to be like when John Cena grants wishes. No. <laughs> It'll be much, much worse.
You think you're clever with the disguise and the metal plate, huh? We'll see if you can figure out how you're gonna survive this to win the Universal title. In the Elimination Chamber match, the first two entrants will be you and Braun Strowman. I'm looking forward to facing you at Elimination Chamber because I never got a rematch for my Intercontinental title. I guess because you lost it so quickly. Why is that? When I competed in the Elimination Chamber, it was one of the most brutal matches of my career. And you won't exactly have any allies out there. Do you know what they say about long shots? I've got no clue. I was hoping you knew. Hey, just give them bloody hell. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about Triple H's decision to have you and Braun Strowman enter the Elimination Chamber match first. I will say this. If you really are the new monster among men, you'll find a way to survive. So yeah, in regards to that six-man tag, don't ask why somehow... Oh, because, I mean, my goal was to go in and break up the pin in case of Elias just totally screwed me out of my objective. But then, you know, enter the match, break a pin that involves Elias and Bray, and boom. <laughs> uh, somehow we get complete the objective <laughs> just by stepping in the ring. But anyway, oh, this match was... I... If I had to take an honest guess on how many times I did this match, it would probably be close to a dozen attempts at least it took me to do this match just because... Uh, now I'm trying to remember again just because I recorded this a while ago. Or actually, I think it was just last week I recorded this. So I'm doing this post commentary on a Wednesday and I recorded this on a Sunday. Um, this match was just a pain in my ass. Um, mostly because... No, wait, how did I get locked? Okay. Oh, a lot of it was because of Joe, because he tapped me out. That was a lot of the problem, was that Joe kept tapping me out. Well, I mean, besides the fact that Cooper is 60... Seven overall, and then he's going up against 80s and high 90s, or uh, he's going against high 80s, low 90s, or just high 80s, but yeah, this match was just a lot of bullcrap, <laughs> um, and I figured as, as long as Bra uh, Braun, and who's that at this point? Elias, they were gone, and then Joe gets eliminated by Miz, and I knew I was in the clear, and I was going to win. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for me in this video. hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. And stay tuned to the rest of this Let's Play. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.